Hey there, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. You know, we had some interaction with a gentleman on uh, one of our videos, the misconception, should I close the crawl space vents in the winter or leave it open in the summer? And uh, we went back and forth a little bit about radon. And so I decided to make this video about where does the air, the makeup air come from whenever you're doing a radon system all right and uh, jason had some great questions and i just wanted to explain it a little further about where does that makeup air come from so stay tuned again real quick i want to plug my book if you haven't had a chance to uh, check it out it's a uh, crawl space repair myths busted and uh, this is a great resource for you all to uh, probably help you hire a contractor, save you money if you're looking to do a DIY project. Also, if you need some help, we are, I'm doing some one-on-one -on -one video consultations, which is becoming really popular. I'll put a link to both of those down below if you want to get those. And I hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Make sure you like this video if this is some good information for you and share it with others. We appreciate it. So as I mentioned before, this was from another video about uh, should I seal my vents in the winter and open them in the summer? And I'll put a link to that video down below if you want to check it out. That's a big question a lot of people have about opening and closing vents on an open crawl space. But Jason had a question. We did a little bit of back and forth. He was asking me where the makeup air come from. And I'm going to read this part. Uh, he said, Crawl Space Ninja, thanks. But shouldn't the radon extraction hoses be drawing fresh air from the outside rather than air that you have already heated from inside the house. Now, I just want to be really clear about something. What he's, uh, what I took that as is he was asking me, shouldn't the radon system be pulling outside air into itself to exhaust radon? And he's also under the impression that the radon system is going to be drawing conditioned air from his home in order to extract radon. So real quick, neither of those things should be happening. I explained to him that what a radon system is designed to do, whether it's in a crawl space or a basement or a garage or whatever, is it is designed to pull air from under the slab or the plastic of the either the crawl space or the finished basement or non-finished basement okay so this is a, a really great picture to show you right here this is april air's website and as you can see the radon is in the soil so whether you have a finished basement or a crawl space like here or something like that the radon system is designed to pull air from the soil there is no direct link to the living space nor to the hvac nor to the outside all of the air is being pulled from under the soil and then you want to redirect the air here's a fan here this is a fan in the attic and then they have a fan outside you want to make sure you're pushing all that radon that soil gas from here directly up above the roof line and above all of your windows in this picture right here if there was a window here this would actually be a bad install because anyone who opened this bathroom window radon would be going directly into the bathroom okay so these fans move quite a bit of air uh, so you want to make sure i would have uh, if this is a window, I'm not saying it is, obviously it's not, or they would have had this picture differently, but if this was a window, then you would want to go up and then come out like they did here on this side and get that radon discharge up above the roof line away from the house. And, and Jason had a follow-up question and he basically wrote, thanks, but where does the air under the vapor barrier come from? Surely the ground cannot produce enough air to keep up with the radon exhaust fan and it actually can okay there's a you know a lot of people when i talk about putting in active ventilation systems and crawl spaces where you want to draw one cfm of air they think that you know it's going to pull makeup air from you know the living space or whatever the ground actually produces a lot of air and you know i've done a lot of research on this and i've looked at this over and over there is a ton of air that comes through the soil uh, up into your house, uh, which contributes to the stack effect. We always talk about air coming from the outside and going in and then going up and above. Uh, but there is a ton of air that actually goes into the uh, to the crawl space or your basement even 
from the soil. So what we're trying to do is capture that radon infused air under the slab, under the plastic, and then redirect it out above the roof line. So that way you're not dealing with a radon system. So Jason, I hope that information was helpful and we appreciate uh, the back and forth that we've had together uh, in trying to get that answer for you. So hopefully this video helps make it more clear for people in the future. I'm Michael Church. Hope you like this video down below. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.